We're continuing on with our polycarbonate uh, puncture resistance e-bike battery case here. Uh, the next thing we're going to go over is how to actually uh, create some mounts for it that let you mount it onto the down tube of the bike. What I'm going to do here is take a piece of my leftover quarter inch uh, polycarbonate and I'm going to glue it on here but I'm going to put some spacers underneath it that are 1 16th of an inch and those spacers will create slots underneath there and I can then use those slots um, to connect the battery to the down tube and to the cross tube of the frame um, using hose clamps. So this is very straightforward. We just take our solvent based uh, glue there and put some of it on the polycarbonate and then attach our sixteenth of an inch plates. Just like that, press it out until it goes all the way to the edge, and then just leave them. Um, the more they move around, the milkier the joint gets, and that is a sign of a little bit of weakness there. But a little bit of, of moving is unavoidable. So, continue on. It doesn't really matter which side of anything you apply the glue to. And none of the measurements here are critical. So we finished our mounting straps on our battery here and here on this side. Um, now we're just going to want to let it sit and dry for a solid day or two before we put it on the bike. We don't want any of this trying to bear a load before it's fully cured and that's a good 24 to 48 hours for all the solvent to work its way out of there. Um, so at this point you just let the e-bike battery sit for a little while. If you don't let it cure, uh, this mount may not be very strong and it may pull off um, after you mount it once you're riding around and it's bouncing around and stuff. So the longer you let it cure, the stronger it's going to be.